I was the fortunate bystander, I guess you can say, in a liquidation of a large collection of Mount Vernon memorabilia that was known at that time as the Edmund Law Rogers Smith Collection. And a descendant of the Custis line liquidated that large estate, much of which went back to Mount Vernon, especially the items that were known to have been at Mount Vernon during the occupancy by George and Martha Washington. And I purchased this directly from the descendant. When did you buy it? I bought it in approximately 1981 to 83, and I do not recall the price. It was probably over a thousand, under three thousand. The history behind this box is absolutely incredible. I want to start off by pointing out that there's a silver plaque here. The plaque says, presented by Marquis de Lafayette to Eliza Park Custis, who gives it to her beloved daughter, Eliza Law. Now, who is the Marquis de Lafayette? We all probably know. Mm -hmm. Who's Eliza Park Custis? Uh, the Marquis de Lafayette was one of our big allies and one of our liaisons with France during the Revolutionary War and was very important in our winning the Revolutionary War. And Eliza Park Custis is the granddaughter of Martha Washington. As she was Jack's daughter and Jack was Martha's son. Correct. Jack Custis. Right. Now, when you open it up, this is, this is basically a lap desk, a ladies' writing desk, a traveling desk. Here in the top, you have all the necessary tools, uh, a little sander to brush on top of your inked paper, this little inkwell, you'd put your pens in here. This may be uh, where a ceiling wax or something went. And basically, this says that this was given to Eliza Park Custis, and, and she's giving it to her daughter in 1823. Same thing is more or less written on this much longer letter on the inside here. This is on the kind of paper that one would expect to find in 1823. And this is basically telling a little bit more about it, saying it was sent to me by the Marquis de Lafayette. It's French. There's yeah. no question about mm -hmm. it. I've showed it to several of the other appraisers who really know European items. Mm -hmm. The Marquis de Lafayette came here in 1777. After the Revolutionary War, he went back to France. Mm -hmm. Then in 1824, at the request of Congress, President Monroe asked Lafayette to come to visit us. Mm -hmm. And he did that, and he was here for 14 months. He visited all 24 states at the time. But this box predates his visit to the U.S. So it says, this was sent to me from the Marquis. So presumably, this was sent from France to the United mm -hmm. States. The plaque probably wasn't on the box, or if it was on the box, it was not engraved. Right. Now, you've done a lot of work on the, the genealogical connections mm -hmm. between all the various family members. And I've got to say, from what you've shown me, the provenance of this box is absolutely ironclad. In terms of the value of it, I would place a pre-sale estimate of somewhere from thirty dollars to $50,000. Wow. Well, it's not a bad investment for $1,500, $2,000, whatever. Um, indeed not. Indeed <laughs> not. Wow. Um. I'll be very careful driving home. <laughs> I'm aghast. <laughs>